these two U substitution problems will take more work than the others. So first one, the integral of x plus 2 divided by root x minus 5 dx. I would like to let u equals to square root of x minus 5. If you let u equals to x plus 2, that is not going to do anything. And then du, derivative, so that is 1 half x to the negative 1 half dx. And then du, that is equals to 1 divided by 2 root x dx. So isolate dx on one side. We have 2 root x du equals to dx. So take a look. If you substitute this, dx to the integral that is not going to simplify anything for you because the x plus 2 on top needs to be rewritten. So x plus 2, how do we rewrite the x plus 2? To rewrite the x plus 2, I would have to take this step, take the root x plus 5, and then rewrite that as square root of x that is equals to u plus 5. And then what, what else? We will have to use this piece also. And then to get an x out, I have to square both sides. So x is equals to u plus 5 square. Okay, so now let's do the rewrite. So the rewrite is, so this integral is equals to u. So x plus 2 is x plus 2. And then, the, oh, ha, huh, x plus 2. So the x is now u plus 5 square and then plus 2. And then the denominator is just 1u, right? And then what about the dx? The dx is right over here. So this dx is right over here. So the dx is equals to 2 root x and then dx, right? What's the problem? Oh, huh. root x du. What's the problem over here? You have differential du. That means u is the only variable but you have an x. So how do you get rid of that x? Do you see that we have x equals to this? So here is how I'm going to fix that. So this root x, I have to rewrite this as this piece, u plus 5. So you have to change the root x to u plus 5. And then you rewrite this again. Okay, one more time. Square root of x equals to u plus 5 square plus 2 divided by u and then times u times 2 times u plus 5 and then the differential is du. The next step is you will have to distribute the 2 and then you have to open up the square. Let's do that. So we have integral and then uh, this is a u, right? And then open that up. So you have u times u, u square, 5u plus 5u, 10u, and then 5 plus 5 plus 2. And then we have to take the whole piece times 2u plus 10 and then du. All right, and then you will have to do, uh, you have to open up these two factors like u times 2u and then u squared times 2u and then u squared times 10. What is that equal to? So you have u squared times 2u, so that is 2u to the third power, right? And then u squared times 10, that is 10 times u squared and then 10u times 2u, so that is equals to 20u squared plus 20 u square and then 10 u times 10 that is equals to 100 u so plus 100 u and then 25 times 2 u so that is equals to 50 25 times 2 u that is equals to uh oh ha huh, you know what 25 25 plus 2 so that is equals to 27 right so we have a 27 times times 2 u plus 10. So what is that equals to? 27 times 2, uh, that is a 54u. So this is a plus 54u and then plus 270. Okay, so that is the expansion. And then uh, let's put that to the integral. So the next step, we have that equals to integral. So we have 2u to the third. And then plus 10, 10 times plus 20. So that is 30 u square and then 100 plus 54 so that is 154 and then plus 270 divided by u and then du so that means you are taking each of any, every individual term on top divided by u so you have 2 u to the third divided by u so that is 2 u square 30 u square divided by u so that is 30 u 154 
and then plus 270 u to the negative 1 du and then you integrate each term individually so the integral of 2u square that is uh u to the third power right u to the third power and then 2 over 3 and then 30 u so this is a u square and then 30 divided by u is 30 divided by 2 is 15 and then this is 154 u and then the 270 so that is 270 ln absolute value of u and then plus c and then all you have to do is you put the u back so where is u so you go back to the very beginning right over there so you have u equals to square root of x minus 5 so this is a 2 over 3 you have root x minus 5 to the third power and then plus 15 and then root x minus 5 square plus 154 square root of x minus 5 and then 270 plus 270 ln we do need the absolute value root x minus 5 and then everything plus c so this is your final answer this one last step is your final answer all right so moving on to the next problem the next problem we will have to do two different u substitution within the same problem so it's right over there let me copy the problem for you so the next problem you have integral x times e to the x square and then minus 6x square minus x divided by 4x to the third minus x squared dx so this one just treat this as two integral the integral of the first term minus the integral of the second term so for the first term i will have to let u equals to so since they are two you have to to determine two different u's i will have to do them in in, in a different color so the first one let's do that in orange let's do that in blue so i'm going to let u equals to x squared and then du equals to 2x dx and then we have 1 divided by 2x du equals to dx and then the second one uh, let's do that in red i'm going to let u equals to 4x to the third minus x square and then du equals to 12x square minus 2x and then dx and then the du is uh let's factor our two so 2, and then this is a 6x squared minus x dx. And then you have 1 divided by 2, parentheses, 6x squared minus x. And then du, that is equals to dx. And then you do the change of variable, right? So the change of variable, that gives you this. So you have integral uh, x e to the u, and then multiply the dx, right? So which is 1 over 2x and then du and then you subtract the subtract carry overs from there and then you have integral you have a 6x squared minus x divided by u and then multiply dx which is 1 divided by 2 6x squared minus x and then a du okay let's work on the cancellation so the x is gone and then this one the numerator is gone so that means you are integrating this you are integrating one half integral e to the u du and then minus one half integral one over u du okay so this is a uh, one half the integral of e to the u is still e to the u plus c and then minus one half this is a one over u not a power rule anymore that is ln absolute value of u plus c so since you have a plus c so the way we handle the two we don't write plus two c again constant is a constant all you have to do is just add one big c at the end before we do that let's plug in the x back to the u so this one is a x square and then minus one half ln absolute value of what about the other one this is a 4x to the third minus x square so since this can be positive or negative we will have to keep the absolute value and then just add one big c at the end you don't have to write c1 c2 just one big c so this is the answer of the second integral okay so that is the end of this video if you think this is helpful you really really like it subscribe give me a like share the video for me i will see you all in the next one signing out